got a couple of uh, contractual things to talk about. Adam Cole, contract expired in early July, and he has agreed to stay with the company through at least SummerSlam. He could always re-sign, or he may be out of there. I guess we'll wait and see. Yeah, so um, Seth, that's the story I just heard that uh, his contract uh, was expiring and that uh, they didn't... Nobody was aware of that until right around now, and then uh, they thought he was he was uh, under contract until the end of the year. So that's an interesting it's an interesting person because the uh, the story came out today, but I mean they were aware of this in uh, early July, mm-hmm. and it just came out. Okay, but that was the that was a timeline. It was yeah. right around the time that uh, Canyon Seaman. Uh, we originally got the story that he was uh, released, and then it was uh, he was not released, and then later he actually was released. So um, was, it, it was it was like that he botched it or something, and that's why he the, got fired. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I know from talking to people that they presume that that's why he ended up getting axed. So it could have been a series of things, but I heard his name. Uh, in as a tie into the story of them finding out that Cole's contract expired, so uh, he could have been a scapegoat, could have been his fault, whatever the situation was. That's the timing. Mm, wow, interesting. Um, because you know Adam Cole is an it's it's an interesting character. Obviously, he's been in in uh, NXT for for years. He's been the top guy in NXT or. A top guy and mostly the top guy in NXT for several years. And it's for, you know, he's got everything going for him except for size. And he's not been brought up to the main roster. And it's an interesting thing. Obviously, when he first went there uh, from Ring of Honor, WWE was the place to go uh, to, you know, if it... In his mind, you would say WWE is the place to go if you're going to leave New Japan. And it was always a tough one if he would ever make the main roster. But after all this time, obviously, he probably should have by all rights, but it didn't happen. It hasn't been happened. there years ago. Yeah, I mean, he should have. And he, he's he's become so. So the situation is, is that. We've seen what's happened to pretty much everyone. I mean, who, who, you know, the guys from NXT, I mean, who's really gotten a big push that, and nobody that was his size has gotten a big push in the main roster. And I can't even think of how long years. And I, you know, there's, there's NXT money, um, and then there's main roster money. And if you were a star on the main roster, you know, obviously that's you can make a ton of money. But, you know, there's uh, so many times, you know, over the years, you know, you, you people talk to me or ask me, you know, and kind of like, like, what would you do in these situations? And it usually, you know, there's always a debate like between if you want to, you know, especially since AEW started, well, in, specifically since AEW started, of what you would do in, in a certain situation. And most of the times there's, you know, all kinds of different things get thrown around, you know, and, and debate points and things like this. And with Adam Cole, if it was like someone came to me and goes, what would you do? It's like, this is a hard one because it seems so easy because I can't really come up with for Adam Cole, unless WWE said to him and just goes, we're going to put you on the main roster and you're getting a major push. Um, then there's a debate because... If not, I mean, I don't see why you don't go to AEW. Um, the, you know, what what's left to do in NXT, and NXT doesn't pay close to what AEW would pay for him. I mean, not even close. Um, WWE main roster could. But, um, I mean, if, if you know, sometimes people just kind of... Um, you know, there's like rule, you know, everyone, everyone does this, everyone. And, and, you know, everyone thinks that, that sometimes you think you're the exception to the rule that like, um, and then he could be, cause he's that good. But if, if they really saw him at that level, they'd have brought him up. 
um, in in the last couple of years. And I mean, I look at the whole group. You know, Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, um, those guys. They you know they're they're major parts of NXT, but they've gone about as far as they can go. And I just don't know. You know, are they going to be ma main roster or main eventers? And they could have brought the Un undisputed era up as a group um, and done something with them. And and a lot of people thought that that was a good idea, but it didn't happen. And um, I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting, but I don't, I don't, I don't see in for his, in his case, I don't see a good argument to stay in in WWE unless he's promised. I mean, even just being on the main roster and getting beat—that's what's 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 so great about that. I'm, I mean, if they offer way more money, like way way more, of course, but. Anything other than a contract for way more money, um, because in if you're going to do the main roster, it is going to be way more dates. Um, it just feels like AEW is, would be the. I mean, Adam Cole is perfect for AEW because that fan base will consider him a superstar. He won't be held back because of his size. He will be. I mean, he could. He could be AEW champion. I mean, I'm not saying he would be. It's he'd be. He could be, but he certainly could be a major player there. And on the WWE main roster, you know, if he was going to be, he'd be. So, um, very interesting. Um, and again, he's someone I think who would help AEW a lot more than he would help WWE. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's other things. You have friends. You know, obviously his, his uh, girlfriend is in AEW, but... You have friends, and you know I've gone through this discussion with with people, kind of on the, uh, you know, debating which way to go. And like I said, usually there's a lot of you know you you kind of look at this. There's this point, and there's this point of view, and you kind of go through. And when I heard about all this, and I was trying to do the same thing, you know, it's like an argument. It's like, and I look at the arguments, and it's like, man, if if he came to me, which he did not, um, this would actually be one where I would just go, you know what? I mean, I. I would say AEW because usually, usually there's well, what do you want, you know, and all this, and and it's like, well, if you want to, if if you if your goal is to be a WWE top star and you are willing to take the risk of failing at that, um, and you are going to, and you are absolutely uh, very confident that you can prove Vince McMahon's initial um, belief wrong, um, and yeah, go for it. You know, I mean, um, and you can, you know, the other thing, too, is if this, I I would presume they want you to sign a five-year deal. But if it's a three-year deal, you can also look and go, okay, I'll give them, I'll give WWE three years. And if they don't do anything, then I'll go. He's young enough you can do that. Uh, but, you know, it would take, I, I I don't know. I I look at the landscape right now. And I don't see, you know, I would I would not go to WWE right now for um, if I was him. I just don't see the I don't see the argument. I don't know. Am I missing something? Well, I mean, I haven't talked to the guy, so I don't know what his mindset is. But I mean, you know, you mentioned having friends, and uh, he has friends. I'm sure he has, NXT. He has, he has mentors. I mean, he is a huge fan of Shawn Michaels. That's true. Shawn Michaels runs NXT. I mean, probably grew up idolizing the guy. And uh, Triple H, I mean, they love the guy. They push him hard. So well, there's well, that yeah. aspect of it, too. I mean, when I hear people say, oh, he has all of his friends are in AEW, it's like, you don't think the guy has friends in NXT? Of course he has well, he's friends got, he's in got, NXT. He's got, he's, got, he's got friends everywhere. He's That's got not... friends everywhere, and he's working for his childhood heroes. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into this. And if it, if, if it were me, I would say go to AEW, because the one thing that I have noticed is whether it's, and obviously he's got more potential, but, you know, Drew Gulak's contract expired, he went right back, they did nothing with him. Zelina got released, she came back, they've done absolutely zilch with her. I mean, but neither of those guys, neither of those guys would have gone to, Zelina Vega, if she had gone to AEW, um, I mean, I, Actually, actually, she maybe in her case, 
But AEW uh, is, is done, irrelevant to this more, argument. But, what I'm saying is, like, if they're not doing the Google, anything with you, but like, I, the I, idea I, that you're going to come back and they're going to promise you a push, and they're going to, like, whatever. I don't believe these promises. It's either going to happen or it's not. And it's been four years. So but, if I'm Adam Cole, I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe he does. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Because, because again, his time, as far as, like, um, when they should have brought him up is, is a ways ago. And, I mean, I just, you know, even if you just look at, like, Cross, even whatever your mentality is, um, and, again, the, that, you know, I, I don't know that the main roster of WWE is the place to be. Um, no, look at look at who's getting a push on the main roster. Shanky and Veer. Shanky's not getting a push. Who are never just, even, well, they're, they're not, in there. They're in there they're being not getting utilized. They're not they're they're on TV. They're, they're not getting a push. They're they're a henchmen from Jinder. They're Jinder's feuding a, with Drew McIntyre. Jinder's feuding with Drew McIntyre. They're just flunkies in the feud. They're not getting a push. Jinder Jinder's getting a little bit of a push, but even him, he's not getting a. You've major got Veer push. on the main roster. You've got Shanky on the main roster. You've got Omos on the main roster. None of these people were even ever on NXT television. This uh, guy's Beer, been Beer on was, NXT Beer was, for four Beer, years. Veer, Veer was, was on, never pushed on NXT television. But he was on NXT television. They, he, him and Sarah, they tried to make him a tag team. He was into Sheer for a little while, but yeah, for like they a, gave up a month him. at most. But the yeah, point is, the these guys were never even featured on NXT TV for any amount of time. They're being utilized on the main roster. He's been there for four years. Like, it's not going to happen. Oh, I don't want to say it's not going to happen, but I would say if you're being rational, um, I don't look at it like it's a high percentage move. Like, and, and even if, if the thing is, even if he's brought up, um, you know what? I mean, see, you know, he could be he could be like Bobby Roode. You know what I mean? They could put him in a tag team. He's really good. He's a great talker. Um, they could put him in a tag team. There's something there. But even then, I don't know that his his ceiling is much, much higher in AEW, just the way that they think, um, just to where his talents are. Not that his talents aren't suitable for WWE, but if you know, if they were suitable for WWE at that at the level that they are suited for AEW, he'd have been there a long time ago, and he would be one of the top guys on the roster right now. So, because I don't see him, I don't see him in AEW, and I know AEW is so overloaded with talent, considering um, the amount of television time, and you know they they have too many guys to push right now. Obviously, they're going to start getting a little bit more TV time in in on thirteenth. Um, but even so, even in that category, I'm pretty confident that he will stand out and he will be, um, you know, and the fans half ass make it. And I know that that fan base will, will be way behind him. Um, I think the main roster WWE fan base could be if he got the shot, but I just don't see him getting that shot of being anything, um, anything at the top level. So you know, but yeah, it's an interesting thing. I mean, he could, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't, I thought about this one and I don't see the art. I don't see a good argument to stay in WWE unless they go in there and go, um, hey, look, you know, if they guarantee him a million dollars a year and the other side doesn't, or if they guarantee him 800 and the other side doesn't come close, of course, but it would have to be that. It would not have to be like, a, I mean, anything, anything close offer wise, um, AEW should, uh, I just think AEW for him is a much better fit. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.